this is quite a familiar sight for a lot of users who want to relicense their XP computer, their old XP computer, and of course they can't get into it. Now, I have done a previous video where I showed you a quick method to go in to retrieve files. Now today I'm going to show you how to how to make a little bit more of a permanent uh, situation to use your computer as near normal. So I'm going to force the computer down now. So we've restarted the computer and press F8. Then use the arrow keys and go all the way up to safe mode and press enter. Then press enter again. Don't worry about all these lines of, it's actually checking drivers, what drivers are in Windows. This may take a, a minute or so. So now your computer will start in safe mode. Okay, so now you have a choice of either starting your computer as your registered owner's name or you can go into administrator, press that. Now when you had your computer new, you would have given it an administ administration name, okay? Or password. Now is the time to use that password. You should have probably taken a note of that when you had the computer new somewhere. So that's what you're going to need to find. And press enter. Now press OK. It's just warning you the computer's starting in, sta uh, in safe mode. Press yes. And the only thing that you miss out on is the pretty little pictures that come up you know as screensavers they will not appear but you can go in and start any program that you have in your computer and it will act as normal as a normal computer and um, thereby uh, you don't require to register or license it. I'm just going to start a program that I have in here that I, I, I use this sometimes for and OK. In this case it's Mac 3. Which is a CNC software. And it will actually operate quite normally. So that's how to get into XP. That's how to get into XP and operate it as a normal computer. The only thing you'll miss out on is screensavers. So thank you for watching the video and I hope it helps a lot of you out. Bye for now.